guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be doing my makeup collection video and I'm totally stoked because I've not done a makeup collection video since like I lived at my mom's house, okay? Like it's been a while, I have a new setup, I, this is new, I mean this whole background as you guys know if you saw my previous video I kind of switched things up. If you missed that, welcome to the new background. Um, but anyway, I thought it was time to finally do a makeup collection video to show you guys how I've been storing my makeup all this time because it's a very, it's very, very, very highly requested. Please don't take this. I have to say the thing that all YouTubers say when they show their beauty collections, but you know, this is not for bragging purposes and don't take it like that. Um, I'm going to explain how I accrued all my makeup throughout the years because I have tons and actually I'm kind of embarrassed to say this isn't even all my makeup. I actually have like boxes of makeup. I still haven't even like... I have no room for. I have no room for. I'm thinking of either doing blog sales. I have a bunch of stuff in boxes for giveaways coming up. Like I'm like clean in house people. But anyway, this is not all my makeup. I am getting a few new storage pieces in the next few weeks um, to hopefully have all of it, get all of it out of the boxes and just have organized systems because I seriously need it. Within the next few months, I'm going to be doing an updated makeup collection when I finally have all the pieces together that I've been wanting together. Sorry I'm in total bum status. It's my day off so I didn't really feel like sprucing up. I just have like a, you know, whatever. Um, I think that's enough talking. Don't you just want to see the makeup? You just want to see the makeup. I hope you guys enjoy my makeup collection video. Give me a thumbs up if you do because I'd love to do more videos like this. If you have any other suggestions or anything you'd like to see me talk more about, if you see like an item that I'm, you know, in my collection and you're like, oh, I've never seen you use that. Let me know in the comments down below so I can try and work it into some tutorials. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's get going. So, um, I'm gonna just kind of talk about everything that's behind me really quickly. Um, oh my god, my shirt doesn't just say missing, by the way. It says missing unicorn. <laughs> I love unicorns, and so does my friend Rebecca, and so I got her th this t-shirt for her birthday, and I had to get one too, because, like, duh. <laughs> So here are the signs, and I got these from Marshalls. They were $7.99 each for the smaller ones, like this one, this one, this one, and this one. They were all $7.99, and this middle one was on clearance for $12.99. It was marked down from uh, $32. So yeah, I got those during Christmas. Okay, so as you guys will see here, this is my Alex unit. And this is what I keep all my makeup in. Yes, the Alex unit that I know everybody and their mom has, but really it's like... It's the prettiest, chicest way to store your makeup, in my general opinion, and it's really useful. I love it, and I don't regret it at all. Um, I actually am getting another one. Um, and then up here is actually where I keep a lot of my makeup palettes. These are my more used makeup palettes. Well, I shouldn't even say that, because there are a few things there that I'm going to show you that I don't use at all. <laughs> but anyway, these are like my more, like, you know, they're just the palettes that I really, really love that I keep up there. Um, so I have some Inglot palettes here. Little Fafinette girl here. I don't know if you remember her from the MAC Faffy collection. She's so cute. A little Kate Spade box. Nasty Gal box. I'm a huge Nasty Gal fan. The Tartlet palette, which I did do a tutorial on. I'm actually, um, I have my Sigma... Copper Extravaganza brush kit case there. It's like a really nice case. Um, I'm actually going to set the camera down and kind of bring these items down onto my desk so we can do a deeper dive. Yes, yeah, so Lorac Mega Bro Pro palette. I really hope they come back out with this because this is just like, it was my favorite palette and it still is. So I hope they come back out with that. Um, I have all my Vice palettes. The one, the two, actually it's the one, two, the three, and then the Vice Limited. Um, and then I have... The Balm New Tude Palette, that was a favorite for a long time. Um, the Lorac Pro Palettes, love those. Um, I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palettes, one and two. All the Nakeds, Naked one, two, and three. Um, so then I have the Smashbox Full Exposure Palettes, the original and the double. The Electric Palette, one of my favorite palettes of all time. Sorry, I'm holding everything upside down. Um, the new Lorac Gold unzipped, and I'm kind of still on the fence about this palette, but... Then I just have this l this smaller, you know, box where I keep kind of my smaller palettes. Um, I have my MAC palettes here, which I just take... These are so old. These are circa, like, 2007. That's why they look so dingy. I've been meaning to get the new MAC palettes that are, like, the nice clear ones, um, just because these are so, like, just old. So here's my red, oranges, and yellows palette. And these are all MAC singles. Um, my blues and greens. My more neutral palette. And then my pinks and purples. And, you know, there's some colors that don't belong in each palette because I've just gotten lazy and kind of thrown them, like, wherever. I have my Choupette, uh Carl Lagerfeld for Shoe Amera palette, which means a lot to me because, 
you know, Carl Lagerfeld obviously is amazing, so is Shu Amara. And I was asked to like collab with them and do a video for the new collection using this, and so, you know, <laughs> that means a lot to me. This is my Pure Minerals Soul Mats palette. I did a tutorial with this, you guys know I love it. Um, Too Faced Pretty Rebel, I've been meaning to break this out again. Uh, my Urban Decay palette that I store my uh, Moon Dust shadows in, I finally found Diamond Dog. This is my Stila Blush palette that I really actually love. I really love this thing. These powder blushes are really nice, so it'd be cool if they'd come out in like the actual line, because this was like a holiday item. And then I have the uh, Anastasia palettes. I have the Amrezi and the Tamana palette, but I don't have... The, what was the other one? The Maya Mia palette? I don't have that one. Um, Sonny Kashuk palette. Um, Too Faced Matte Eye. I have the Basics 1 and 2. Um, a Sigma palette. I have a lot more Sigma palettes, but they're, again, in the boxes I was talking about that are housing so much of my makeup. This is amazing. This is super duper special to me. This thing is awesome. The little black book of bronzers from Too Faced. I'm sure you've all seen this, but I'll open it up just so you can look at it. I don't touch this and I don't use it because it's so special to me. Um, my manager gave this to me a while ago and it's just like, I love it. So this is it. You got all the bronzers in it. They're all full size. And they're seriously amazing. I mean, I'm sure I'll use it one day because I, I've always wanted to try Snowbunny and I've never had Snowbunny. And now that it's in this palette, clearly I want to dive into it, but I just, I can't allow myself to because it's just all, it's so perfect and it's so beautiful. So, I don't know. I'm sure one day I'll probably dig into this, but <laughs> not yet. Okay, so I know this is all like very cluttery, but I just have a lot of stuff. And I kind of like it all where I can see it because I want to use it. I'm like, you know, I don't need things to be neat and pretty. I need them to be functional. So, yeah. So, I'm first going to pull out. These are my lipstick containers. Um, yeah. So, anyway, these all, I kind of keep my nicer lipsticks in. I got them from the container store. And I think they were around $7 to $12, $7 to $10 somewhere in that range so I obviously you know keep all my Macs together and I have some some lime crimes love the lime crimes um, some Chanel's Alok got me one and my friend Sean got me one some Smashbox NARS Lancome Mac again M Mac Viva glams the matching lip glosses and these, this is kind of, I hate this container right here. This is like my straggler container, but it's a bunch of randoms. I have some Lancome, some Cargo, Urban Decay, um, Lorac. I am loving this lipstick right now from Lorac. This is called Seductress, and it's just like the perfect daytime dark pink slash just really, just really flat red. It's amazing. It's perfect. Um, these are the Benefit, um... Posy Balm and Benna Balm. I love those. I love them so much. And then I have some Lipstick Queen and some Too Faced. What you guys will probably noticing in my collection is a lot of items. I'm sure you guys are noticing a lot of my lipstick have these green dots on them. And a lot of things you'll see in this video have green dots on them. That's because I worked at Ulta for a very long time. Many years, many years. Um, I'm sadly no longer going to be, I'm actually in my final days with the company. Ulta's amazing, but um, I I was a, oh my gosh, I started out a cashier, and then I was a, uh, you know, a beauty associate, and then I was a prestige manager, and then in the past few years, I've been the Lancome um, prestige lead, the lead artist for Lancome um, with, with Ulta, so it's kind of a complicated situation. I work for Lancome and Ulta. <laughs> um, but anyway, t if you buy something there to wear it, you know, you have to get a green dot on the bottom of it. You have to get any makeup that you bring in with you green dotted so that, you know, it doesn't look like you're stealing. <laughs> um, and then these cups are just kind of all of my taller items. I get, I got these at, um, the Target dollar section. These are kind of what I just keep my taller items in, like my taller, you know, lipsticks and things like that. I have like my Melteds. I have, I love the Too Faced Melteds. They're kind of my favorite. Right now I'm loving Melted Strawberry. This is Melted Candy. And I have a lot of my Sigma lip pencils, the bases. I love these. And then I have my Lime Crime Velveteens that I love so much. I have Wicked Salem Pink Velvet. Um, what is this? Suedeberry Utopia. And Black Velvet. I still need Red Velvet and chin no, what's the more recent one? Cashmere? Um, this tin here is kind of what I keep like my mascaras in and stuff. So yeah, all my 
my mascaras. I, have, I know I have a lot of mascaras open, but a lot of them are colored. I'm a huge colored mascara junkie. So like these ones here, the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascaras. Um, and I always stamp. I take the wand and I stamp the bottom of them so I know what color they are. And then I have some like primer potions in here. My benefits stay, don't stray. And then this one again. It's just for taller lipsticks and lip glosses or like crayon-like things. Like I love the Revlon um, color burst here. These are amazing. The Kardashian lip gloss, some e.l.f. I think this is a tart here, yeah, tart from like the Aqua Lilies collection. Um, Urban Decay Naked Glosses. I got these in the dollar section at Target. I think they were three dollars. They have a bunch of holes, but you really can't tell with all my brushes. I try to keep them designated into face brushes and eye brushes, and like up here would be smaller angled brushes, and then blending brushes, and then shadow brushes and concealer brushes. But it ends up getting a little bit crazy. This is another thing I'm really trying to find a better storage solution to. This is really boring. These are just my makeup brushes. This is the one I use today, that's why it's dirty. Normally my dirty brushes, after I'm done using them, they go into that jar over there so I know to shampoo them. And then this here I just had to keep on my desk. It's my invitation from Benefit to Benefit Weekend. But this was just like the coolest thing ever. Like Benefit inviting me out to San Francisco for the weekend and like flying me out there and being able to meet all the other beauty vloggers. It was just like, it was so amazing and it was just such a blessing. So I like to keep that up here. This is a frame I got at Marshalls a long time ago and it's actually just a little card from Too Faced. It was the first, it was the first time a brand had acknowledged my blog or me in general. It, this is extremely old. It's when the Better Than um, False Lashes came out, the fiber mascara, when it first came out. They, I was one of the bloggers chosen to review it first, so it was really important to me, and it was really cool. Um, so I framed it and kept it, because you know. And then these over here, this is where I keep all of my pencil liners and some liquids, but mostly pencils. I have a lot of Stila, a lot of Urban Decay, um, yeah. So just a lot, Sigma, Sigma Beauty liners, just a lot of liners. These are my NYX Jumbo eyeshadow pencils. This is my cup that I put brushes in that need to be shampooed. And these are my lip liners. Okay, so now we're gonna dive into my Alex unit. I'm just gonna go, you know, quickly. I'm not showing each item because we would be here all day. So in this drawer, I keep a lot of my pigments and glitters. Um, so I have a lot of Lit Cosmetics glitters. I have a lot of, you know, Lancome shadows, Napoleon, um, Lime Crime, Sigma Beauty. These are all LA Splash. I love LA Splash. They make some of my favorite glitters ever. They're like the best. <laughs> Um, NYX, yeah, more LA Splash. These are all MAC. Like, these are MAC from, like, the holiday collections where they come out with the smaller pigments. I'd love to pick those up when they come out. Um, more MAC. Um, the L'Oreal Infallibles. You guys remember? I was, like, obsessed with these for a long time. Too Faced Glitter. I'm so sad Too Faced, I think, stopped carrying their glitters this year. They're my favorite. And then here, I have all of my single shadows. These are my NYX palettes. And then I have a Smashbox palette. I love this thing. These are all Jane Cosmetics. We have some um, Napoleon down. These are all Essence shadows here. I love Essence. And then here, these are all the old Revlon eyeshadows. Rimmel, one of my favorite drugstore, Quad. And then here I have my Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill shadow. Some Urban Decay in the old Urban Decay containers. These are old school. This is an old Smashbox eyeshadow. Oh my gosh. And then here I have some Milani, some ColourPop, MAC mineralized eyeshadows from the Disney Villains collection. Uh, yeah, love these. And then these are a bunch of more of my MAC single. Laura Mercier. These are the old Stardust shadows, which are, were like the, um, you know, the new Urban Decay Moon Dust. They were originally called Stardust, and that's what these were. So, yeah. And they opened cool, like you, you squeeze the sides and they pop open. I don't know why they would ever get rid of those. They were amazing. Okay, so here are all kind of my cream shadows in a stick. I have the um, Bare Minerals BB Cream Eye Shadows, like the Revlon Glitter and Creams, Jane Cosmetics Cream, and Urban Decay Glitter Line. Here I have all my gel liners, so I have a lot of studio gear. So that's all that. Then I have a bunch of Sigma. And then I have more of the Milani eyeshadows here. Ugh, amazing. Ugh, they're all so beautiful. So Milani, this is a little Bare Minerals eyeshadow, another Lancome. 
This is a Sigma brow powder actually. And then I think these are all my Ulta brand shadows, which again, don't sleep on these either. I actually did a wedding day makeup tutorial using all Ulta eyeshadows and it was beautiful. So that's, and these are all my color tattoos, all my 24 hour color tattoos from Maybelline here. Cause I'm quite a junkie for these and I'm sad they just like got rid of like almost the entire line. All the old colors are gone. Like all these right now that I'm picking up, they're all gone. Yeah. This is like, these drawers are just so boring to me, but it's like my foundation, concealer, primer, powder drawers. So I have a lot of my foundations in here that I'm not currently wearing or a lot of tinted moisturizers. I have some pure minerals, some Rimmel, um, the Maybelline foundation fit me sticks, uh, my Tarte BB cream that's just too dark for me, a long comb visionary foundation that's too dark. Uh, my Benefit Big Easy concealer, so I have some NYX, some Studio Gear, some NYX, it's a little long comb primer sample, Maybelline primer, powder, so I have IT Cosmetics, the Hello Illumination, but the color's not right for me right now, um, Pure, or I'm sorry, Studio Gear Loose Powder, Studio Gear Loose Powder, MAC, these drawers kind of bore me too, but they're really just blushes and powders and stuff, so I have some Jane Cosmetics Illuminator, um, some more Shuamira, uh, Lancome, Michelle Fawn. These are all my Lancome blush palettes, and I got these for gratis. That's why they say not for individual sale. Then here I have all my NYX products, or all my NYX blushes. And I, and I have a lot of NYX blushes from when I was doing the NYX Face Awards. They sent us so much makeup to use for the, you know, the competition. So I still have a ton of these that I, I didn't even ever end up opening. But I still have a ton more in a box for a giveaway. So don't think I'm just like going to let these like rot away. All my NYX makeup is still in a box for a giveaway that I just haven't done yet. Um, yeah, more NYX powders, NYX bronzers here. And then I have some Serenity and Scott blushes, cream blushes. So Sigma blushes, OCC. This is a Mac Hello Kitty powder from the Hello Kitty collection, but I unfortunately broke it. So yeah, that's kind of sad. Pure Minerals, Cargo, um, Sephora trio of a bronzer, highlighter, and blush, and then some Jane Cosmetics back here. Okay, so here I have the old Tarte highlighting powder. Um, let's see, a bunch of the balm. The balm cheek stains all here. Um, some essence blushes. That one's broken clearly. It actually broke on the plane with me to San Francisco. Uh, these were the amazing limited edition Maybelline blushes that were only out for a hot minute. I don't know why they didn't come up. Like, do you see that orange? It's unbelievable. Rock. These are also so amazing. I love these blushes. More Wet n Wild. Uh, this was a MAC Wonder Woman bronzer, I believe. Yeah, bronzer. This is a Tarte body bronzer that I really like during the summer. Um, the Essence bronzer that was really obsessed with for a minute. Okay, so next is kind of where I keep all of my drugstore. Not even just, there's some that aren't drugstore, but these are pretty much all my drugstore lip products. So I just got these containers actually at Target. Um, in the dollar spot, again, they're actually $3. Um, these actually cost $3, these containers. I just literally got them last week, so they should probably still be at Target. Um, but as you can see, I have a lot of my Maybelline lipsticks, uh, some CoverGirl, some Milani, some Wet n Wild. Um, these are some old Sula ones, an old brand that um, Ulta used to carry. This is just kind of spillage over of stuff I don't know where what to put where. Um, so, uh, more lip glosses here, um, bunch of NYX round circles, actually I think these are all the macaroon, yeah, macaroon lippies, um, which were the really colorful lipsticks, these are some round lipsticks, uh, yeah, some Revlons, uh, a bunch of the, oh, this is, oh my gosh, do you guys remember these old Revlons? I loved these, I loved this kind, a bunch of, you know, more NYX, these are the butter glosses, or this is a soft matte lip cream, that one's really pretty. Why don't I ever wear that? Monte Carlo? Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. Butter glosses. Whatevs, whatevs. And then right back there is all more of, like, my liquid lipsticks. Like, I have all of my lip tars in here. Um, and then more of just, like, the butter glosses, honestly. That's really all that's back there. Um, soft matte lip creams. Yeah. Um, here is, this is kind of a really boring drawer, but it's, uh, this is all my travel size items. Oh my gosh, this is more spillage of just random lip products. We have some Kaylin, Lorac, Maybelline, Too Faced, Rimmel, 
a mascara. Literally, this is Butter London. <laughs> this is way too random. Um, this is a lip gloss set that I bought during Christmas this year from Ulta. And then this drawer is kind of insane. This is all... Um, just products I haven't opened yet, I don't need yet. A bunch of it is gratis from Ulta and just from, um, and then other things are press samples sent to me from different brands. They, you know, I just do get, I get press samples just randomly, um, in my mailbox a lot. A lot of the stuff I don't even, like, know what's coming and then it comes and I don't open it if I don't have a use for it yet. I don't know if I'm going to use it for a giveaway, I don't know if I'm going to need it for, you know, a video. So I just, I keep it boxed up until I need it in here. So this is, like a Tarte um, self Maracuja self-tanning oil that I got for gratis, Benefit Professional that I got at Benefit Weekend, a lot of the Benefit stuff I got at Benefit Weekend and I'm saving it for a giveaway. Um, Loli Tint, Tarte Lip Gloss, uh, The Real Push-Up Liner, Tarte Powder, more Benefit stuff. Okay, so now we're getting ready to go into my pull-out drawers that are on my desk. Underneath my desk I have this this box here that I just put any foil packet samples that I get, or these are some Exuviance peels I have, some like shampoo and their Exuviance peel. I and I know a lot of people at Exuviance headquarters and just their own vendors, so they always give me samples. Um, this is like a Bliss sample. And then here is another basket of more eyeshadow palettes. I know, I'm crazy. Oh no, I just spilled, that's okay. Um, some Too Faced, I have like, this Too Faced palette, another Inglot, Bon Bon, bon Jovi palette, Herm Decay Smokes palette, um, the Benefit Bling Brow Kit, uh, Naked on the Run, the old, oh my god, the old Deluxe Shadow Box, um, the Laura Geller Baked Eyeshadow Palette, I freaking love that palette. Just keep that under there because I don't use it as often. And this bag that came with a skincare set. And this is where I keep my empty products because you guys know I do an empties video like every two months. Which is kind of weird but it's just kind of fun where you talk about all the things that you used up. And if you liked them and if you're going to repurchase them. So it's just fun. Oh, but I'm showing you guys all my empties. <laughs> and then, this is kind of my favorite part. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm a, like, my junk, my thing, my thing that I'm a junkie for, well, one of them is blushes, highlighters, bronzers, uh, illuminators, all of the, all things that, that they're kind of my favorite things in the world. So these are all, I don't want to say they're my most used, because I definitely don't use all of these but uh, that often, but they're just my favorite. I love to look at them, I love to use them, so I just keep them always near me, so I'm always thinking to use them. Um, these here are all my MAC MSFs. A mineralized skin finish, they're my favorite thing that MAC makes, and a lot of these are limited edition from collections, like this is um, Whisper of Guilt which is just like the most amazing highlighter in the entire world, especially when you use it wet. It's just, it's liquid gold on the face, it's amazing. This was an old one that had like half a Skin Fitness Natural and half of a highlighter on it. Um, this is Refined. Comfort, which is like a bronzer. Perfect Topping, which was my, it was and is my favorite MAC highlighter ever. It's just the most perfect highlighter. I went through three of these <laughs> no joke. Like, I've never gone through anything, but I went through three of these. And I think my mo my mom actually went through two of them. They are just my favorite. Occasionally, you can find them at a um, CCO or whatever, a cosmetic company outlet store. Um, this is Light Scapade. Uh, here we have some from that last year's summer collection. Bronzers. These are both bronzers, different bronzers. Um, another Hello Kitty powder. This is the... Pretty Baby Beauty Powder, which is just like a soft pink. It never shows up on me at all, so I really don't even know what to do with it because it's useless. <laughs> um, this is one of the Simpsons blushes, the Sideshow one. I think that was the one that was exclusive online or something. I don't remember. Um, another Simpson Pink Sprinkles. Maybe this was the online exclusive color. It's more of a bubblegummy pink. These I just got, and I'm so mad. I, there's actually three, and I can't find the third one. I don't know where I set it. I didn't take it anywhere, so I know it's in my house, but I just can't find it. This is the MAC Toledo collection, and it was the relaunch of the ombre blushes, so I was freaking, like, so determined to get these because I've never been able to get the ombre MAC blushes when they come out. They always sell out before I can get them, and I mean, literally, I've been trying to get them for, like, since, like, 2009. So these are two of 
the colors. Aren't they just like, you see why they're my favorite. They're just kind of amazing. Um, then over here I have like a Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, Sonia Kashuk. I love this combo. I like to just swirl it together and go. Um, another MAC Blush. Tarte Captivating Blush. This is really pretty, really nice pretty peach. You know. Um, Hourglass Ambient Blush. I think it's just Diffused Heat. Yeah. Diffused heat. I don't really use that a lot. Masca makes my favorite blushes in the world, and I'm so upset that Sephora no longer carries a La Masca, but or mine doesn't at least. But I know they're getting a makeup counter if they haven't already, so I'm really excited. But these are my favorite. This is Hussy, and this one is Tremble. Two Becca highlighters. I have the rose gold and the opal. Which is, uh, these are all the Milani rose blushes that came out this year. Really pretty, and these are just their normal line blushes. I love Milani. If you have not tried their blushes yet, definitely do. They're amazing for the price. Um, NYX cream blushes. I have a Tarte cream blush. Lip thing. Um, Lipstick Queen. I'm actually wearing this today. Open Secret cream blush. And then these are all my loose setting powders. I have a Lancome one, a NYX, NYX Tarte, It Cosmetics, Smashbox, and Makeup Forever. Um, the Benefit, Loli Tint, and High Beam. I have Majorette here, and then my boxed items, so Hula, Hervana, which has been like a favorite for mine right now, and Rockateur, which I also really love. This next drawer is kind of more boring. Not like any of these were <laughs> specifically entertaining, but um, I actually feel like you guys are actually probably all asleep right now, but anyway, so this is just kind of like the stuff that I'm going to use every single day, so I just at least some of this. They're my most most commonly used items so I just need them where I can find them easily. So here I have my face makeup. I have primers, La Base that I love. The Hydro Glow is amazing. Um, Baby Skin La Base, the Visionaire Primer, um, Naked Illuminating BB, my Stay Matte Foundation, Bare Skin CoverGirl. I've been loving this Maybelline Master Conceal lately. It's like so full coverage. Kat Von D Concealer, Derma Blend Setting Powder. In the back here I have my Judith August Cosmetic and my Concealer Wheels. Um, yeah. Hello Flawless Powder from Benefit. Maybelline Fit Me, my It Cosmetics CC Cream. That's actually all I have on today with that blush. Um, Becca Foundation. This is the Urban Decay Naked Flushed Palette, the Corley one in Streak. Um, this is my Dior Loose Powder that I've been trying to finish forever. I have to freaking get through this. Um, yeah, yeah. My Tarte Foundation, CoverGirl Concealer. These are all of my ColourPop shadows that I love, and I seriously, aren't they amazing? They're so beautiful. Um, these are all of my other single shadows that I tend to use a lot. Like, I have this Givenchy Cream Shadow that I love. Um, my MAC, Samoa Silk, Brown Script, Avi has to be handy. Um, a NARS shadow, an Elamasca shadow, Jane Cosmetics, and then I have all of my Stila, um, Magic Metal shadows. This is all, like, boring everyday stuff. I have my Tarte Mascara, Eyeshadow Primer, Lash Glue, Clinique Mascara, Tarte Primer, NYX Liner, Everything Concealer Pencil, Brow Gel, Brow Scissors, this Kardashian Highlighter Stick, my Anastasia Contour Kit, um, Beauty Blender Chapstick, Makeup remover, I have water, I have a skin prepping spray, my brush cleaner, and my primer water. And oh my god, that felt like forever. Oh gosh, okay you guys, that is seriously it. That's my makeup collection. Well, everything that I have displayed. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to do an updated makeup collection pretty soon. Hopefully. And that'll have all my stuff in it. And maybe I'll break that up into like lip segment, eye segment, like because it's crazy. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed my makeup collection. This felt like an eternity to film. I hope I didn't bore you to death. Um, so I just want to thank you guys for watching. And I will see you again this Monday with probably another tutorial. So let me know what you guys want to see. And if there was anything, you know, here that you wanted to see me use next week, just leave it in the comments down below so I can read that tonight and make a list of what people really want to see. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you again this Monday. Bye! Or bye! <laughs>